guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious shakshuka recipe. So you need two sweet red peppers and two small brown onions, and you want to finely chop them up depending on how you like the consistency of the sauce. I use this amazing little gadget to help chop them up into even pieces. So once you have your peppers and onions chopped up, you want to heat up some olive oil in a pan and cook your onions and peppers until they've softened up and are translucent. Once they start to look like this and have softened up, you can now add your spices. So here are the spices that I'm using. I'm using one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And now you want to cook and mix the spices until they become aromatic and all the flavors start to come out. After a couple of minutes, you can add two tins of chopped tomatoes and mix them into the sauce. Now you can mix the tomatoes and continue to cook on a medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Whilst it's cooking, now you can add some chopped coriander and parsley. I'm using some that I froze in the freezer, but feel free to use fresh. Continue to mix it all in and make sure to try your sauce and adjust any of the spices if necessary. You can also add in some sugar to balance out the acidity of the tomato if necessary, but for this I found that the sweetness of the red peppers was more than enough. Now it's time to crack in the eggs and poach slash bake them. You can either do this straight in the pan and poach them with a the lid on top or you can do it in the oven and bake them. I decided to do it in the oven just because this pan wasn't going to be big enough, but feel free to do either way. So now I'm putting it in an oven that was preheated to 180 degrees and I'm going to keep a close eye on it until I see that the egg whites are cooked. I personally like the egg yolk to be slightly runny so I'm making sure not to overcook it. And voila, this is such an easy delicious dish to make. We like to eat it with bread so yeah, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!